Hey guys, in today's video we're going to talk a little bit more about relationships and what we have here is a has many and a has belongs to many relationship and since you don't know what that is, the best place to go is to look at documentation and Ruby on Rails actually have really good documentation and we're going to talk about the has many through association first. So has many is actually very reasonable. If you look at this little model that they've drawn, us, drawn, us for, drawn for us here. You can see that a physician has many appointments and patients can have many appointments but appointment can only belong to one physician and one patient. That makes sense because you as a person can have many appointments. You can have a doctor's appointment, a dentist's appointment, an appointment with your friend for coffee. And as a physician, you can have many appointments with many different different patients. That is represented here by by these these lines. You can see that there's one for the appointments. There's an arrow pointing to the physician. That's because one appointment can only belong to one physician. And the same for patients, one one appointment can only belong to one patient. So that's why in this model, the class appointment has these two lines, belongs to physician, belongs to patient. That means this, this appointment can only belong to one of them. Now, a physician, on the other hand, has can have many appointments and a patient can have many appointments. So you can represent that through the has many under physician and under patient. You can see that the physician has many appointments and a physician can have many patients but through the appointment. So these physician is not connected to the patients directly but it is connected through the appointments table. And it's vice versa for the patient. The patient can have many physician uh, not directly but through the appointments table but a patient can also have many appointments. Now, if we go down, we can look for the has and belongs to many association. And you can see here that an assembly can have many parts and parts can have many assemblies. And it is represented by an intermediate table called an assemblies parts. And to give you a good example, you can think about a car assembly line or Honda, for example. Honda has many different models of cars, so they have many different assemblies. Now, a car can have many different parts. A car can have windows, have an engine, wheels, so assembly for that car can have many different parts. Now, a wind the, the windows can have many, can go different, many many different assemblies. So one window can go into different models of Hondas and same goes for the wheels. So that's pretty much how has and belongs to many is kind of represented here. So you would type in a has and belongs to many parts and has and belongs to many's assembly to show that assembly can have many parts and parts can have many assemblies. And if we look at our diagram, we could see the same thing. You can see that an org company can have many contact information and the contact information um, can have many companies. So that is kind of a, an example for that. So if you think of Starbucks, it's one company, but it can have many different locations. And those different locations can have many different, different Starbucks, um, little franchises. Uh, if, that are represented by our company. So that's kind of how you want to think when you're coding for Ruby on Rails, that this relation is similar to the, the, the situation that they've shown in the diagram. So that's when you use a has and belongs to many association. And same goes for our company and products. A company can have many products and one product can really only belong to one company. So that's when you have this one-to-many relationship represented by one one line stemming out of company and these three little lines coming into product to show the, the many relationship. And same goes for a company or person that you have one line coming out and multiple lines pointing to our person to show a, a one-to-many relationship that one person can have many employees. And that's really what I wanted to go through for this video. Um, if there are way more way more types of associations like belongs to which we kind of went through has one has one through and really just looking at the documentation and read it when you come when you have a roadblock it's the best way to solve it anyways i hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video